First of all, I would like to uh, say Happy National Ceiling Fan Day to all the other fan collectors on YouTube. Like for Brandon Johnson, the Super Fan Man, and I am a fan of it. I would say Happy National Ceiling Fan Day to all those other fan collectors. Um, I thought for National Ceiling Fan Day, I would probably film the uh, Crossfire. And I have two portable fans running down here. I'm not going to run all of them because I don't want my dad to find a change in the electric bill. Considering that that's the kind of dad I have. Um, so, I now have the Crossfire on this mount down here again. Uh, before, I actually had the Eclipse hanging up in here. And I did have the Nordica in my room. And then I took the Eclipse down. And then I... Put, took the Nordica down, put it down here, and then I hung the Jasper up in here when I took the Jasper down from the dining room and I put uh, it on here and I p did put uh, the uh, Hampton Bay Carriage House in the dining room and then my dad asked me to put the Jasper back up. So I did and then I put the clips back in my room and now the crossfire is back down here. And I did have the uh, south wind down here too, but I just wasn't really in the mood for filming, so yeah. By the way, wait, here's the light to it. Um, as you know in the video I made of it, this light socket, light bulb socket is damaged, so I can't put a bulb in there. Um, I'll turn off the uh, fluorescent lighting for you guys. I kind of like the uh, spot kind of lighting on here, how it kind of hides the fan a little bit. Um, these bulbs are dimmable, and that's pretty much a good sign when it comes to you wanting to go to bed at night and yet still have some sort of light. Um, might as well turn that off and put the crossfire on high right now. Um, I haven't used this fan in quite a while. I'm pretty sure I did mention in a video that I did have this hanging in my bedroom, but I didn't film that either. Sorry if some of you guys are disappointed that I didn't film. I've just been really busy lately with life and stuff, and school has recently started, and... I haven't been able to film because of that either, so. So the crossfire on high. Glad that this was only a $40 fan, considering this was also a display from Canadian Tire. Um, my mom, I'm not really sure if I said this in any other videos, uh, she recently got a uh, SMC UB42. Um, it's the newest version of the UB42. She told me she wouldn't want it filmed at all. So I didn't get a chance to film myself unboxing it or hanging it or making a demonstration of it because it's in her bedroom and she doesn't want anything in her room filmed whatsoever. So I'll respect that for my mother. But since now the UB42 only uses two chains. And by the way, the Crossfire is on medium now. And... Uh, how it only has two change and t chains, and how the uh, and how um, the blades aren't reversible to marble anymore. They're reversible to like this walnut or something. I don't really know. It's kind of like the color I'm talking about is kind of like this, like under the Scandinavian right here. It's kind of like that, um, but just a bit different. I'm surprised that they still sell them to this day, even though it's been 25 years since they started selling them. Now I'll put the crossfire on low now, and right now I've got this, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to set that right there, I've got this Polonis fan going and this, and my Honeywell quiet set going at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to add to my fan collection, my birthday is about to come up and I asked my dad for a, uh, Harbor Breeze, uh, Stormont ceiling fan, and, uh, if you don't know what the Stormont is, it's, I'm not sure if it's, a uh, rebranded Honeywell ceiling fan or if it's a uh, actual Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. Since uh, Lowe's now owns Rona, they started selling Harbor Breeze ceiling fans there and I noticed one called the Stormont and I kind of like it so I asked my dad for it for my birthday and I don't know if he will get it for me or not. But it was only $99.99 so I didn't want to put the stress on my dad for like a $300 fan. And one thing I noticed about a lot of Harbor Breeze ceiling fans that are now sold at Rona, or at least online, they actually seem to be rebranded Honeywell ceiling fans. Or instead of them, instead of the boxes to them saying Harbor Breeze, they say style selections. Um, but yeah, I asked them for a Stormont. I don't know if the Stormont is a rebranded Honeywell or not, but hopefully I'll be able to discover that in the future. 
by the way, like, I've got, uh, three ceiling fans displayed down here, and I've got three remote controls, and all my portable fans down here, and that's just a lamp for when I have friends over and we want to hang out down here, um, but, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all I can film for right now, considering that I'm filming on a cell phone and not actually on a c real camera. Um, might have to turn these off. But anyways, happy National Ceiling Fan Day to all fan collectors around the world. I wish you the best in uh, building all your collections out there, especially to I am a fan of it. And Brandon Johnson and Jeff's fans and the super fan man. I wish you all the best with uh, building up your fan collections.